right now stuck in their homes of course it's because of the coronavirus and you know they're trying their best to keep everything in their homes clean so me I grew up in a house where I was very strictly shown how to wash dishes keep things clean and certain people in my home just didn't get that same kind of treat. so I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one video dishwashing 101 to kind of help people understand the importance of washing dishes and how you clean your dishes and what you do so so, um, right before I started this video, I took all of my sponges and my washcloth and I put wet them and I put them in the microwave for two minutes. Because um, I know sponges and things like that, they have a lot of bacteria, um, so a lot of people don't like to use them, but I do put mine in the microwave to kill germs and bacteria um, before I use them and that's usually pretty much before I ever wash. So I go through a lot of sponges because I do that every time. And at the end, I'll show you what I do as well to keep everything clean. Let me see. Oh. Okay, so one of the first things that I always do is I make sure I'm using the correct temperature of water. I use two different detergents. One is for more sensitive items that I want to clean, usually for my son since he just turned one. I used to clean his bottles and stuff with it. And then I use this other one. So usually what I do, one of the most important things when you're washing the dishes is then if to put your hands on the dishes. So I always wash my hands beforehand. So the part you miss is the sponges and dish rag going in the microwave and me washing my hands. I do that beforehand because in order to make sure the dishes are clean, you actually have to put your hands on them. So I usually will rinse the dish and I use my sponge to go inside and outside of whatever it is that I'm using. The reason I put my hand on it is because that way I can feel and see if there's any type of residue or anything that's on the glass or whatever item it is that I'm cleaning. So I'm gonna go through a couple of different items so you can know how to clean those and I'll keep it moving. So this is a cup, we clean one cup. Rinse, and my water is very hot. Some people can't stand hot water, but I can. Okay. So the other thing is I don't soak my dish in water because I use a lot of sharp knives. My husband brought it to my attention that I use a lot of <laughs> knives and things like that that I keep around. So um, I don't soak the water because if you put your hand or anybody puts their hand into the water and there's a knife in there, they can cut their hand. So that's why I don't soak them. That's why I make sure I sit maybe a little bit of water at the bottom for those items to soak. Or if it's something that has a lot of residue on it, I'll put water and the detergent in there to soak it in so it'll come out. Like when the kids eat oatmeal and things like that. So, um, I usually clean my knives by using a sponge on both sides. And the part that a lot of people forget to do is to clean the handle because you're picking the handle up and you're using that handle to hold the knife and you probably touch other things. So you want to rinse that once you have washed the item. And I usually keep my knives separate from everything. So another item here, like I said, this was a bowl. It had oatmeal in it this morning from kids eating breakfast. And it soaked, so it easily rubs off. But notice again, I'm putting my hand on the bowl, I'm touching the bowl, that way I can feel if there's any residue or anything left on the bowl What's while I am washing it. What residue? Residue is when stuff is on it, you know, the food and all that kind of stuff that might have been. This is another bowl that I'm cleaning. Again, I'm putting my hands on it as I use the sponge to kind of clean it. And you can, whatever it is that you use, some people use like a disposable something or whatever. Whatever you use in it and the soap is lathering, 
you still want to make sure you can put your hands on the dishes. Again, that's why I wash my hands before I start it because you want to be able to touch them and feel if there's any residue left on them. Sometimes what happens is people wash the dish and they don't take the time to see if there's anything left on it. So they end up putting rinsing in the dish instead of washing it and they put it for it to dry and when they get ready to use it again, it's something fun. So now the other thing I'll go to is silverware, forks, knives, spoon. Again, you want to make sure you're cleaning the actual utensil itself and the handle of the utensil. Then again, you want to rub your hand across it to make sure it's actually clean. Okay. And again, my water is very hot. Some people can't stand the hot water, but I like to use it. So I'm just going to go through a few other items just to make sure everybody understands what to do. Again, utensils. You want to clean the top of the utensil and the handle, and then you want to rinse. Y'all, I have the person who wants to save my rice I don't know why she's here. Y'all, it's asked, Mommy, can I help wash the dishes? Can I help? So I have shown her a little bit, so she's done some of this. So. Again, I always make sure you're cleaning the handle, and then you want to make sure you place the back of the So that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to finish washing the rest of these items, but of course, Utensils, you want to make sure you're cleaning the actual portion that goes in your mouth and then cleaning the actual handle of the item and rinsing it. Um, then you also with your bowls and things like that, if they need to soak, you can put the actual detergent, uh, detergent that you're using with water inside of the bowl and let it sit. Or if you have a sponge like this one that has kind of the rougher front to it, it'll get those um, out. So I guess it just all depends on what it is that you do or how you do it, but this is just what I call a way, not the way, to be able to make sure your items are clean while they're in your home. Now, a few other things right before we go. Some people put bleach in their water. You know, they'll load their dishes, um, run some water, and put a little, you know, like a cap full of bleach in the water. I personally don't do that just because I have uh, small children who use my items, but if you're an adult and that's what you wanna do in your home, I just don't do it in mine. Um, but there are different ways that you can sanitize your dishes. Um, I do have a dishwasher, but I prefer to hand wash my dishes. And I can put them in the dishwasher and turn on the high heat. And that will actually help to sanitize um, my dishes as well. So, if you have any questions, or if you have a husband, or a boyfriend, or a spouse, a significant other, or somebody who doesn't do so well at washing dishes, you can share this video with them so that maybe, just maybe, the next time they wash the dishes for you, you'll be a little happier with the outcome. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Every single day, I'm gonna make